Hey there, and welcome to day seven of the Fruity Freeze Challenge. This is amazing. We are already one week through the four week Fruity Freeze Challenge. This challenge is going to be going for the entire month of December. And that means you are going to be getting a new video from me each and every day from December 1st through to December 31st. This challenge is 100% free, but there is an option if you would like to upgrade your challenge. If you do choose to upgrade your challenge, you're going to get a beautifully designed ebook that has tons of information, inspiration, recipes, and meal plans. You'll also be entered in a prize giveaway to win some awesome vegan and raw vegan prizes, and you'll get access to our private support group on Facebook so that you can talk with other people who are going through this challenge just like you are. If you haven't signed up or upgraded your challenge already, you can do so in the links below and you can sign up for the challenge or upgrade at any time. It's entirely up to you. All right, now we are going to move on to the tip for day seven of the Fruity Freeze Challenge. My tip for you today is treat yourself this holiday season. Okay, look, I know that most of the time it feels amazing to eat only fresh fruits and vegetables. A lot of the times I eat mono meals myself or very similar foods every day because I already know that they make me feel my best. I eat the food, I have great digestion, great skin, good hair, I feel happy, energized. You know, that's how I want to feel the vast majority of the time. So I choose to eat the foods that make me feel that way, which usually are whole fresh fruits and vegetables with very little else added in. Sometimes some nuts and seeds, but mostly fresh raw foods. And while it is amazing to eat this way, it can be a little bit awkward, I'm going to be honest, if you bring a big plate of plain persimmons to your Christmas gathering, right? Can you picture that? You bring a big plate of bananas or a big bowl of plain greens on their own. The thing is that most people aren't going to understand if you're eating that way. They're not really gonna understand why you're eating that way. And you might receive some judgment for your lifestyle. Now, if that is what you want to do, then all the power to you. You have every right to eat exactly what you want to eat, and no one should be able to tell you any different. But from my experience, sometimes it's nice to treat yourself. And I don't mean treat yourself to unhealthy foods that are going to make you feel like garbage the next day, where you're going to regret eating them or experience a food coma or a food hangover. That's not what I'm talking about. What I mean by treat yourself is to create something that's a little bit more elaborate or time consuming than you usually make. So most of my days I spend drinking smoothies, eating salads, or eating whole fruits and vegetables. Pretty simple. But come holiday season, I try to be a little bit more creative with the food I make. So I will make a pie or a cake or truffles, like I talked about in yesterday's video. Or I will go out of my way to make some dehydrated crackers or some veggie balls that can go on a raw pasta. I make more elaborate sauces. I try to put more care and more effort into the food I'm making. And sometimes around the holiday season, I'll eat some foods that I'm not used to eating as well. So I may eat a little bit more fat in the form of nuts and seeds, or I might include some salt in my diet the odd time, or eat dehydrated foods. The thing is that there's nothing wrong with these foods when they're eaten in moderation. And if you're not eating them all the time, nothing bad is going to happen to you. It's fine to eat some of these foods as a celebration and to show people how amazing the raw food lifestyle really can be. It also has another component to it as well. Because if we make ourselves feel like we are under these rules and regulations and we can only eat whole foods without any spices, any additives, no extra fat, nothing like that, we might feel like we are depriving ourselves. For some people, it really does increase the temptation to eat unhealthier foods. Because if we take an absolute all or nothing approach, you might feel tempted to give in to some of those old holiday favorites, those dishes that you used to eat at holidays in the past. So what I suggest doing instead is trying to recreate those foods in a way that is healthier, even if it includes some foods you're not used to eating as much. The holidays really are about spending time with friends and family and treating yourself and having a great time. And if you're not hurting any animals with your food choices and you're still eating a raw foods diet or living a raw foods lifestyle, I really don't see any problem when it comes to treating yourself. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Food is meant to be enjoyed. And there is nothing wrong with eating some things that are a little bit more indulgent in the holiday season. I hope you like this tip for day seven of the Fruity Freeze Challenge. And also let me know in the comments below, how do you plan to indulge this holiday season while still staying healthy and true to your lifestyle? 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share these Fruity Freeze challenge videos with anyone you think might want to participate in the challenge. And as always, subscribe if you want to see more of the videos yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.